Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Manhunt for the PS4. Manhunt is a stealth based survival horror game developed by Rockstar North. The game was originally released in 2003 for the PS2. The game starts in Carter City where a journalist reports on James L. Cash, a death row inmate recently executed by lethal injection. But in reality, Cash was kidnapped before the execution by a deranged snuff movie director. The director, voiced by Brian Cox, then places Cash in various scenes where you have to kill enemy gang members in the most brutal way possible. The more brutal the kills, the better your fetish rating will be at the end of the level. There are 20 levels to play through as well as 4 unlockable bonus levels. So what is the game like to play? Well Manhunt is predominantly a stealth based game. You have to lurk in the shadows, lure out the hunters and take them out when they're the most vulnerable. Saying that, there are two distinct parts of this game. The first half sees your focus being on stealth, but later on in the game, once you get your hand on some firearms, you go from the hunted to the hunter. And that changes the whole feel and the dynamic of the experience. The in-game controls are a little bit awkward and they use the trigger buttons to strafe and it can take a while to get used to. You have a light and a heavy attack, you can run, lean against walls and you can use various weapons as and when you find them. Speaking of weapons, you'll start off with your bare hands but you'll find things like plastic bags, baseball bats, iron bars, sawn off shotguns, handguns and sniper rifles as the game progresses. If your health is low you can find painkillers around the level and the VHS icons you find will allow you to save your progression. But the key part of the combat are the special kills. If you sneak up behind an enemy and focus on them a target appears over their head. This goes from grey to yellow to red and the longer you hold the attack button the more violent the execution will be. Each weapon has a unique death cutscene which looks like grainy CCTV footage that the sick director will be delighted with. Some more of these shitheads hanging around the exit. Give me some grade A, honest to God gore, and you'll be buzzed through the door. The game takes place in various gritty inner city locations, from dark and dingy back streets, shopping malls, and even a zoo at one point. The hunters are your enemies, and they vary depending on what gang you're currently taking on. They all look different, and they have varying degrees of difficulty, and you'll encounter the hoods, the skins, and the war dogs, to name a few. Noise is a huge factor in Manhunt as sound will give your position away. So if you walk on grass or gravel around hunters they will be alerted to your presence. But you can use sound to your advantage like throwing objects or smashing a bat on a wall to lure an enemy closer. The character animations are a little bit stiff but the game still looks good graphically even though it's quite old. It's very dark, very gritty and it really dripping with atmosphere. Everything is lit in a moody way and overall it looks pretty good, barring the occasional glitch. The in-game soundtrack by Craig Connor is absolutely amazing stuff. It really captures the mood and the atmosphere of the dark and twisted world. You know, it's full of morose characters and horrendous violence and the soundtrack just really complements it. It feels a bit like a John Carpenter movie soundtrack but with a more darker twist. The combat sound effects are brutal and the hand-to-hand -hand combat is raw, you know, it really reminded me of The Last of Us in that respect. Which is a game in terms of the combat that feels very similar to Manhunt. The voice acting is excellent throughout but Brian Cox absolutely steals the show as the deranged director. The stuff he comes out with is both memorable but it was also quite sick in equal measure. This is some of the best snuff I've seen. Okay, so what's good and what's bad? What's good? It's a genuinely challenging and intense experience. The kill scenes are gross but also quite satisfying. The varied levels, objectives and enemies keep the game feeling fresh. It's like two games in one with stealth followed by ultra violence. The game has one of the richest atmospheres I've ever experienced. The soundtrack is perfection and it's a game that has a satisfactory conclusion and right to the end is a hugely immersive and enjoyable experience. What's bad? The controls are very awkward and they take a while to get used to. Some of the levels are so dark it's hard to see what's going on and the violence can be a little bit overzealous for some. So what's the verdict? Manhunt is a fantastic game that was very controversial upon its release due to its ultra violence. Overall Manhunt is an incredibly violent, dark and disturbing game. It's one of the most immersive games I ever played back in the day and once you get the hang of it it's very enjoyable but also very tense. It's like being centre stage in your own disturbed snuff TV show with some twisted director commenting on all your gruesome acts. But once you dig in, you will get your revenge with some of the most guttural and visceral violence in any game I've ever played. 
The atmosphere is thick, the music is sensational and the voice acting by Brian Cox just makes Manhunt a timeless classic in my eyes. So my score for Manhunt is 9 out of 10. Okay, that was the review. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer, signing off. Thank you.